Hey guys, Greg from Oathbound Gaming coming back at you again with another video, but today we're doing something a little bit different. We have Epic Game Store on the left and Steam on the right. We're going to be talking about these two companies, stores, all of that stuff. And I'm going to tell you right now, I don't use Epic Game Store. In fact, I made a fake account, fake email, because I really don't want an account for Epic Game Store. And I'm not here to insult you, Epic Games. If you happen to ever see this video, I hope you do. Um, I'm not here to insult Epic Games. I'm not here to praise Valve. That's not what I'm about. I just prefer Steam. And I'm going to get into the details of that. So, before we get started, I want to explain, just in case anyone's uh, kind of out of the loop a little bit, I don't want you to be out of the loop for the duration of this video. I'm going to explain the Epic exclusivity, what's been going on. So, Epic has been contacting developers of games that they think are going to be successful and interesting and drive people to Epic Game Store. And what they do is they contact these devs and say, hey, we're going to give you X amount of money for you to come over to Epic Game Store for a one-year exclusivity agreement, which means you cannot go to Steam. That's a crappy thing to do to the gaming community. That's bad. That's bad. And it makes Epic out to be the bad guy of the gaming world. And everyone loves to have a bad guy, right? CD Projekt Red, everyone was hating on them. That's kind of died down, thankfully. I think it was a little undeserved, but whatever. Topic is Epic Games. Um, it makes them out to be the bad guy. And Epic Games, you have so much potential. You have so much potential to be the good guy. And you know what? You do good things, Epic Games. This is a good thing here. That's cool. Say, hey, you know, here we're giving out some free games and stuff. That's cool. And I, I know the purpose. The purpose, the reason why you're doing the uh, free game stuff and the reason why you're doing the exclusivity thing is to drive people to the Epic Game Store. And right now, you're taking a loss on Epic Game Store. Epic Games is taking a loss. They're not making money off Epic Games, or off the Epic Game Store. They're only making money off one thing. Can you guess what it is? That's right, strippers. I mean, Fortnite. They're only making money off Fortnite. And Epic Game, Epic game Store, the exclusivities, all these free games and stuff, this is costing them more money than they're making off of it. I, I guarantee you, 100%. But you know what? It's a good strategy to bring forth a lot of people to their their store. Hey, because I'm telling you right now, they have a date planned. They have a at least a, a quarter planned where they flip that switch and go, okay, it's time for Epic Games Store to start pulling in profit. They have that planned. And they're trying to get a lot of people on that store, so when they flip that switch, they have a big community of people to help generate profits. So Epic Game Store, you cause issues like this. I'm going to go to my wish list on Steam. I wish listed a game just because I don't even want this game at all, but I wish listed it because I thought it was interesting. These game, this game here, Blood Roots, originally came to Steam. And then they were advertising, hey, you know, come to Steam this game. And then all of a sudden they changed the date. They pushed it back one year and said, hey, it's not coming until 2021. And it's it's coming out soon. And people have been really grumpy about it. What a joke. Um, Epic exclusive. What about us? This game went to the Epic store. This is in 2019. Um, sad to see the dev value and money over the consumer. And that's true. That's true. At this time, evil Epic has won. See, Epic Games, people... I, and I, I, this isn't a surprise to you. But I got the answer. Stay tuned, Epic Games. And everyone else, I have the answer for you on how you be the good guy, which you want to be, Epic Games. You want to be the good guy in the gaming world. And in fact, I would support you. You do this, I would even support you. And reach out to me if you ever want to talk. I'd love to I'd love to have a chat or an interview. Always up, Always up for that. So... Let me just uh, show you a little bit. Devs start being targeted and hated because they accept their exclusivity agreement. It's a bad look for Epic. It's a bad look for the game devs. And bigger companies have done it. Metro Exodus, they were giving pre they were pre you know offering pre-orders on Steam. Metro Exodus, and people were pre-ordering it, and then they went, um, bad news guys, we're gonna go to Epic Game Store for a one-year exclusivity agreement. We're gonna honor the they said we're, we're gonna honor the pre-orders. But after this date, you can't pre-order it on Steam anymore, and we'll be back next year. And I remember sitting... I was at work, and I, I, I was looking... I had my uh, my Windows computer booted up, and I was looking at it, and I was like, should I buy Metro Exodus before they go exclusive so I can still have it on Steam? And I said, you know what? I'm not going to support this. 
And then that's when I started making up a rule for myself, which was any game that goes to Epic Game Store and then comes to Steam, I will not buy it unless it's 50% off or more. So if they, they kind of treat us like, like crap, you're going to get half your, at, you know, at most you'll get half the money of your game. So 50% or more off for the game for me to buy it. And that's a rule I set for myself so I could, I could have some integrity. You know, I feel like, like I'm justified in that. I'm not paying more than, than half off. And it's not about the money. It's about the fact that, okay, you treated the Steam user base like crap. I'm not going to give you your, your full asking price. And you're lucky if I even buy your game in the first place. I have to really want that game to still buy it. Metro Exodus, I bought it, liked it, good game. But that was a crappy thing to do. That was really, really crappy. Don't, please don't do that. And this is how the community reacts to, to incidents like this. Boycott them. F developers, whatever it says. And the, this is why I bring this up, by the way. I found it interesting. The developer themselves are trying to, like, save face. And they come here and post a Gabe Newell Epic Game Store an article about an interview. Look what, look what Gabe Newell said about the competition that Epic Game Store gives them. Look, look how good we are for, for accepting Epic Games bribe. Because because competition's good, right? Okay, let's let's talk about the competition a little bit, okay? Competition between companies is good for consumers, right? Because when two companies compete, the savings and benefit rolls down to the consumer. Here's the problem. There is no consumer in this competition. We don't get anything from this. In fact, we get shafted. Because Epic Games is forcing exclusivity and removing choices from us. We no longer have a choice. If we want this product, we have to go to Epic Games Store to get it. Or wait a year. So for a year, we have no choice at all. They are literally removing competition from the market. That's not competition. That's not. It's exclusivity. You can only get this product from us. That's it. We, nothing rolls down to us. We don't get anything. So Epic Games Store... I hope, I hope someone from Epic is watching this, because I have the answer for you. You want to be the good guys? You want to be praised? Here it is. So, like I explained, Epic Games contacts devs and says, here's X million dollars. At the control, the game control, $10 million, I believe, they gave them to come over to Epic Game Store for a year exclusivity. I'm pretty sure it was $10 million. And um, I'll look that up real quick. Control, Epic Game... I'm going to just, just search $10 million. And I'm pretty sure... Epic Games reportedly put, paid 9.49 million euros, which is 10.41 million USD, for the rights to sell control exclusivity through the Epic Game Store for a one-year period. And here it is right now. Just want to show that on screen so you don't think I'm like making this up. It's right there at the top there. So, Epic Games, here's your answer, man. Instead of forcing exclusivity, here's what you do. Hey, let's use Control. Control devs, what we're going to do is you can release on Steam and Epic Game Store, but release on steam for your 60 dollars retail price or 50 whatever whatever it was let's say it was 60 right but release on epic game store for 50 day one 50 dollars or even 40 dollars whatever it may be 40 dollars on on epic game store let's say and 60 dollars on steam day one it gives players a choice if you want it on steam pay 60 bucks for it if you want it on epic game store you could buy it for 40 day one you're automatically getting a massive deal, and it'll all it, and Epic Game Store can be like, hey, it'll always be forty dollars on us, forty dollars or less. And what Epic Game Store would do for the control devs, because you might be asking, well, aren't the control devs getting screwed on Epic Game Store? Epic Game Store, instead of saying, here's ten million to come to us, we will pay you twenty dollars for every copy you sell. You'll get your cut for the cut for the sale, plus we'll throw twenty dollars in there for you. And they can, Epic Game Store can say up to. Up to $10 million. We'll give you $20 for every copy that sells on Epic Game Store, plus whatever the cut is of your normal $40 sale, up to a certain amount of money. So we'll give you $10 million in those $20 credits for every sale. And companies have done, not quite like this, but companies have done, like NVIDIA, like, like the aftermarket cards like Asus and Gigabyte, they were giving like a, a rebate, I think they called it, like, I'm going to throw in a random number here, like $50 for every card they sell, They sell. NVIDIA was giving those companies 50 bucks. And that number's made up, it might be like $20, 30 I don't know. But they were doing that. You could do this Epic Games, and you know what? 
players still have a choice. They can go to Steam if they want to pay the extra money. And I'm sure there's people watching here that are like, you know what? I'd buy the game on Epic Games. I'd want I'd want the deal. But there's people that are still like, hey, I'm going to buy it on Steam. Like, there'll be people that say, I'm going to buy it on Steam. I I'll pay the extra money. I still prefer keeping all my games on Steam in one place. I like the, I like the features on Steam. Because you know what? The features on Steam are a lot more advanced than Epic right now. Because this is Epic's official roadmap. I pulled it up, and because I'm not an expert on Epic Game Store. Again, I, I've never played anything on Epic Games. I just made an account with a fake email and everything um, just so I can take a look at the store. Because personally, I don't, want, I don't want an Epic Game Store account. And Epic Games, if you contact me, and you you want to ever talk about this and, and you happen to kind of incorporate this idea and uh, idea and stop the uh exclusivity stuff i'll give epic games store a shot <laughs> how about that but um future development um user reviews still not on epic game store um gifting still not an epic game store and then they have a whole shopping cart epic come on that's, that's day one stuff man <laughs> So right now you have to be like, I'm going to buy this game and purchase charge. Okay, there's a $50 charge on my card, and I'm going to buy this one. There's 10 and I'm going to buy this one. And just different charges would appear on your card. And some people, by the way, can't do that. Like, that's, that triggers stuff with cards saying, hey, you know, there's there might be a little bit of, uh, I don't know, unauthorized use on my credit card because there's 10 different charges for 10 different games I bought on Epic Game Store rather than one charge. I've had that happen, not on Epic Games, but some places. So... There's a lot of stuff still missing, additional uh, currencies, payment methods, shopping cart, gifting, and there's a whole lot of stuff still missing. I'm going to close this roadmap, and we're just going to take a look real quick. Again, there's no reviews. So I click on Medium, for instance. There's no reviews. There's So I don't know how this game is, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go pull up Medium on, on Steam so I can look at reviews. So... Epic Game Store does not have the store to compete with Steam right now. But you do if you change that pricing thing. If you go with my, my pricing idea, you have the reason for people to come over beyond the exclusivity stuff. And you still get to be the good guy at the end of the game. And people would be singing praises about you, Epic, because you're offering a better deal than Steam. People would love it. People would love what you have to offer, love what you're doing. And people would appreciate it. And there's a lot of stuff missing from Epic Game Store, like I said, that Steam has. So they're not going to compete on that level. And Epic knows that. And the only way they can compete is to force you to go there for a game you really wanted to play. Epic, you're almost there. If you stop that crap, people would be more willing to support you. This is good, man. The free game stuff, that's cool. You have a really nice way of seeing free games, of... of providing that to the community and being hey look there's free games and on february 4th we have another one coming up that's super cool now on steam you actually beat steam you beat valve in this in this free games thing because it's so much easier to see it um on steam you can certainly search and then go to uh, see, i'm on steam all day and i don't even know how to do it um free to play you can search tag free to play there they are right but these are not free games. They're free-to-play games. These Epic here has games that are normally you have to pay for, but you can claim them for free forever. That's super cool. Valve, with Steam, they, um, Epic Battle, funny, we're searching Epic, Simulator. Right now, this game is completely free, but you don't know that. So if you claim this game now, it's free, but it's hidden. It's You have to, like, you'll never really know that. Um, you have to find that. By the way, they, they announced a second one. Um, it's an interesting concept, this, this um, I don't know what you want to call it, but if you see, look, Epic Battle Simulator is now free for a limited time, but if you claim that, it's free for you forever. But you don't know that. Steam doesn't advertise that anywhere, and it's kind of like a, a, a hidden little thing that you have to find on your own or find a post on somewhere on some game site whatever it may be that the game is available for free and epic pushes that out more because they want people to come there and start using their stuff i i get that and I, and I have nothing but praise about that epic good job with that but you gotta stop being the enemy of the pc gaming world you have to stop 
and there's a way to fix it. I gave you the answer. And I really hope to see you guys do it. So anyway, I'll stop beating a dead horse here and just talking because I love to hear myself talk, obviously, right? <laughs> So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'd love to hear what you think about this. Do you use Epic Game Store? What do you think? If they implemented that price and change, would you use it more? Would you go to Epic Game Store more? Would you start using it for the first time? Let me know. I'd love to hear hear from you. I'm always happy to talk either in, in the comments, in voice, in, in the Oathbound Gaming Discord, which there's a link down below in the description. And as always, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps me out. I really appreciate it. And it keeps me motivated to keep throwing content out like this. So I hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you think. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Skip!